Hello and welcome to this online College of Coding video tutorial series. This is video 3 in the series on intermediate programming concepts. In this video we're looking at access and assignment operators and how to use them. Before watching this video it's recommended you've seen the preceding videos because the information carries over. Let's get started. Assignment operators are very similar to arithmetic operators. They perform the same sums and calculate the same answers. The main difference is what they do with those answers. The return value of an arithmetic operator is its answer, 2 plus 2 equals 4. We know this already. But the return value of an assignment operator is slightly different. Assignment operators take the value from their calculation and apply it to the variable on the left. The assignment operators actually assign a new value as part of their calculation, hence their name and the equals sign in their symbol. Because assignment operators modify the variable on their left hand side, the left hand value must always be a variable, like money, and can't be just a number like 10. Next we're looking at access operators. If you haven't learnt about member variables and arrays, then go and check out their programming concept videos at the beginning of this series. To access member variables and elements of arrays, access operators must be used. As the name hints, access operators are used for accessing data. The main access operators are the dot for accessing member variables and the square brackets used for accessing array and list items. An example might be an array that has a link to each enemy in your game. Then, when the player object makes an attack, you can check through the list of enemies to see which one got damaged. You can use the dot operator to access its health and the assignment operator to change the value. Be sure to tune in to one of the next tutorials in the series. If you're working in Game Maker, using functions might be the tutorial you're interested in. Otherwise, if you're working in Unity, or for each and while loops might be what you're interested in. See you next time.